Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at subtracting whole numbers in context. So without further ado, let's get started. Cool, so for, for my first question, what I've got here is a vintage car that was purchased for 35,000, sold for later for 50,000. Wow, that must be a very special car, but uh, we're looking for what's the profit made by the seller. So we're going to look at the what the price it was sold for, which was 50,000. And we've got to take away 35,000, which was the original price. Uh, so 50 take away 35. Now you can use a calculator for this, or you can do this manually as well. So in this case, it is going to be $15,000. Uh, a good idea would be to just write a little statement. You might actually say something along the lines of like profit made by the seller is 15,000. Always good to write statements at the end of these maths questions. Looking at question two. We've got an entrepreneur that's invested 120,000, later sold their stake for 200,000. How much profit did they make from the investment? So we've got uh, 200,000, take away 120,000. And what we've got here is 80,000 as the profit. Now, yes, as I said to you before, you are allowed to use a calculator, so you might just go 200,000, take away uh, 120,000 and there's your 80,000 right there. So how much profit they make is 80,000 profit. Question three, piece of artwork that was bought for 15,000 sold at an auction for 28,000. So what was the profit earned by the seller? So a lot of profit questions here. So we're going to go 28,000, take away 15,000 and this is going to give me 13,000. So a profit of $13,000 should have actually put that $80,000 that I put. Yeah, put that one at the top there as well. Need that dollar sign there. Uh, and once again, folks, just making sure that you write a statement that says profit of $13,000. Okay, question four. We've got a company that spent $500,000 developing a new product, sold it for $750,000. Uh, again, subtracting the the price that it was sold for minus five hundred thousand um, seven fifty take away five hundred thousand that's going to be two hundred and fifty thousand so a profit of two hundred and fifty thousand was actually made uh, from this particular product and of course the last question here we've got a real estate investor purchased a commercial property for 1.2 million and later sold it for 1.8 million what was the profit made in the transaction so we've got 1.8 take away 1.2 now I'm not actually writing writing this as like you know with 1 and 800,000 I, I am gonna just do it as 1.8 minus 1.2 and that's actually actually there's there's nothing wrong with it um, and if you're not comfortable with uh, manipulating decimals you know just you've got a calculator so you can actually use that so 1.8 take away 1.2 and that's going to give me three over five. Now, um, just a little note with these calculators, just click on shift E E X E, and then that should actually give you guys the actual uh, number instead of a fraction. So it should give it to you in decimal. So we've got 0 0.6 million as the profit. Now, what you might have done is you might have done it this way as well. So 1.8 million take away 1.2 million, and that's going to give you six hundred thousand dollars as profit so either answer is correct in this so you could put it as 0 0.6 million or you could put it as six hundred thousand dollars as well cool now there is a variety of questions that you could be getting asked for subtracting numbers in context all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here Great material for revision and as always, thank you for watching.